go ahead and demo your game. All go right. Ahead, Avery. Hi, everybody. Woo! So we're here to demo Unbearable. Um, apologies if the volume's a little quiet on the game, uh, but here we go. Please say. What if, what if you were a bear that needed hugs to survive? But the problem is, you crush the spines of those you embrace. If you were destined to hurt the ones that you love, would jealousy, fear, anger, despair, resentment, murder, forgiveness, hope, love, loneliness be? <laughs> So we actually had someone develop our title art from Vancouver because he couldn't make the Vancouver Molly Jam, so he was kind enough to join us. That's Luke McKay's work there. So let's start things up. Well, it appears that you need hugs to stay alive, and that person's running away from me. And I can see my life bar dropping, so I'll hug this person. Yeah, John seems to not like that. Oh, he really doesn't seem to like that. Okay, he's crawling away now. <laughs> Let's catch him. I'm a bloodthirsty bear after all. Oh, no. Oh, look, I can drag him around. Oh, look at the little flower. To your dragon. Okay, I'm not getting life anymore. But when I hug people, it seems I get more life. So, hug that guy. All right. Sneaky. Oh, that Avery guy. Man, he's a pain in the ass. All right. Uh, what's that? That's some bumblebees or something. Space to take honey. All right. I got some honey. Uh, let's eat it. Oh, give me some health. All right, sweet. Take some honey with me. There's another person. Uh, give him some honey. Let's give him some more honey. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh no, my, my health is running out. I'm about to die. The love. The pain. Where do you draw the line between your needs and the good of others? Game over. <laughs> okay, that didn't seem to work. Let's try again. Okay, there's definitely... I'm definitely supposed to kill these people, I figure. I'll just take what I need from them. Alright, that guy's dead. Take that, John. Oh, look at that bear got more vicious in the upper left hand corner. That's cool. Bear seems to like that. Kill that guy. I'll eat the honey myself and. Ooh, my tricycle. <laughs> it seems like I'm a little slower. Tricycle does not appear to be the ideal method of transportation for a bear. Oh, he seems to think that's kind of cute. All right, all right. Is that? Oh, I could space to run over. <laughs> oh, sweet. Let's do that again. Uh oh. Running low on life here. Get some honey to keep me going. Seem don't sound very good. There's Luke. We'll get him. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! That's got to be the point. Let's kill, oh, geez, he's fast. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh. Casting about, frantic and predatory, your needs have left you alone. The loneliness is unbearable. Now, their blood is on my hands. No, oh. maybe I'm not supposed to play like that, okay. Maybe, maybe, they did seem to like the honey. Maybe if I just like, uh, Maybe I try to make friends with someone. Maybe there's a way for me to fill my meter and uh, get some affection without, I don't know, killing them. I don't know. Yeah, I will give him a little hug, drag him over here. I bet he'll forgive me. Oh, 
No, he's following me around now. Maybe you'd like some honey. How few are those that despite their own needs find the path to be loved by another. To live otherwise would be unbearable. <laughs> so we have, a, we have a fourth ending that I'll spare you guys looking at. Everybody there did a ton of work cross-functionally. And then we also had a bunch of people help out from other towns. Uh, Luke, as I said, helped out from Vancouver. Adam came in and did audio. Josie did UI. Colin, of course, set up the jam and did some of her tiles. Casey's our community manager. And uh, we totally screwed up the credit screen four minutes before submission. So it doesn't really work. <laughs> That's our okay. game. It's, it's already been picked up on Kotaku. The press release appears to... Uh, I've been picked up for sure, right there. URL's a little funny, I don't know. But uh, yeah, there it is. So if you want any more information, please feel free to follow uh, Peter Mollingu, who is the main character of the game. You can follow him at petermollingu. Uh, or tw twitter.com slash petermollingu. Although he's recently got a pretender to the throne doing fake tweets on his behalf called Peter Molling Dieu. I don't really trust that guy. All right, but community manager seems to be on top of things. Thanks, everybody. Well done. We will do your guys' game next. Yes. Tons of skills. There we go. I got five. I would be not surprised if he made more than that. Dude, Aaron, yours was the next name. And, and I totally made it for the music's fucking amazing. Uh, it's it where is? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I've All been right. To it for like We're good. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a a pigeon game called Deliver Me. Um, we were inspired by a couple of tweets, three tweets actually. One where you are a pigeon that must sort of help these uh, businessmen come off the ledge by giving them what they want, delivering them what they want. Um, but you also have x-ray vision, so if I kind of fly around this environment here, I can find find an unhappy businessman to sort of help out. Come in here and swoop right down so I can talk to him here. Uh, yeah. Put on his head. Oh, I have a, I have a bug there. That's supposed to be a line <laughs> break. <laughs> he kind of tells you his life story. these letters around and see what I'm looking for. And uh, I mean, there was a, uh, yeah, this guy was talking about, um, this guy was talking about how he had gorillas for friends, so I'll deliver him this letter. <laughs> Hopefully the game doesn't break right now. There we go. Oh, okay, no, there's no bad collision physics. So now I continue my quest. to his death as well. 
that's that's pretty awful. And now I've, I've got the, I've got these two people <laughs> <laughs> that are haunting me as I fly around. Yeah. And there's a there's ten of these businessmen just kind of hanging out, waiting to die, and I can go up and help any of them, or you know, convince them to die. But then it's in my conscience. So um, that's the game. I've got a text bug there. That's a problem. Um, yeah, I was. Um, lucky enough to work with uh, Gavin and Joe and Jason on this game, who sort of helped me with the art and the design, um, and uh, you know, kept me honest when it came to trying to get this thing finished, which was a little ambitious, but actually I think if we had another half a day, we're basically at the polishing phase now, so you know, we could have done more cinematic camera angles and like a little bit more like flailing of the limbs as they fall, but it just wasn't quite time, so this is what we got done in our, in our Molly Jam, so. Thanks. Excellent. We will demo your game now. Mm -hmm.
the tweet said, <clears throat> game where your arms are controlled by a psychopath who keeps firing guns at innocent people. You must turn away from them and run. Um, our goal here is to turn the user into a psychopath, whether they want to be or not. <laughs> the character is very self-aware of what's going on here. He cannot control his arms because I'm controlling them. Uh, he can't control the gun because I'm controlling it. We can fly the buy house. <laughs> I'm a family man. <laughs>
that are composed of the weaknesses of these monsters. So zombies have poison brains, they have garlic for vampires. And if the wall doesn't kill the monster, uh, it'll splash on them, and when they die, that debris will get on anything, anything around them, and it can cause chain reactions that way, right?